In the stillness of an office building at midnight, the world rests in silence. Yet amid this calm, an unseen network remains ever alert, waiting, sensing, anticipating. It is a sentinel not of flesh and bone, but of wires, microchips, and sensors. The fire alarm system, a technological guardian, stands poised to act in an instant. How does such a system, embedded in walls and ceilings, quietly vigilant day and night, know the exact moment to roar into life with sirens and flashing lights? How do fire alarm systems know when to activate? The answer lies in a remarkable orchestration of science, engineering, and human foresight. Right here on History of Simple Things, At the heart of every fire alarm system is the ability to sense danger before it becomes disaster. That job falls to its detectors, sophisticated devices designed to monitor the air for early signs of trouble. The most common are smoke detectors, which come in two main types, ionization and photoelectric. Ionization detectors respond quickly to fast-burning flames. They use a small radioactive source to ionize air between two charged plates. When smoke enters, it disrupts the current, triggering the alarm. Photoelectric detectors are better at catching slow, smoldering fires. Inside, a beam of light travels across a chamber. If smoke enters, it scatters the light toward a sensor, prompting the alarm. By combining both types, modern systems guard against a wide range of fire conditions, from invisible embers to sudden bursts of flame. But not all fires begin with smoke. In industrial spaces or areas with flammable materials, heat detectors often take the lead. These come in two forms, fixed temperature and rate of rise. A fixed temperature detector activates when the air surpasses a set limit, usually around 135 degrees Fahrenheit, 57 degrees Celsius. Inside, a bimetallic strip or special alloy reacts to the heat completing a circuit and triggering the alarm. Rate of rise detectors work differently. They monitor how quickly the temperature climbs, typically alerting if it jumps 12 to 15 degrees Fahrenheit in a minute. This makes them especially effective at catching sudden fires, even before smoke appears. Behind every sensor lies a brain, the fire alarm control panel. This is the system's command center, the digital mind that interprets input and decides when to react. Modern fire alarm panels operate using addressable or conventional circuits. In conventional systems, multiple detectors are grouped into zones, and when one activates, the control panel can only indicate the general area of the alarm. Addressable systems, however, assign a unique digital address to each sensor and device. This allows for pinpoint accuracy, enabling first responders to know exactly which detector has been triggered and where. This advancement has transformed how emergencies are managed, shaving precious minutes off response time. When a sensor detects danger, it does not act alone. It communicates instantly with the control panel, which performs a verification process. This process is critical to avoiding false alarms, a notorious issue in fire safety. The panel checks for consistent readings, cross-references input from multiple devices, and ensures the signal meets a programmed threshold. Some systems even introduce a brief delay, known as a verification period, during which the signal must persist to confirm it is not a transient anomaly. Only once the data meets all criteria will the panel issue a full alarm. Once a threat is detected, the system moves into swift, coordinated action. Notification devices, horns, strobes, and speakers fill the space with sound and light. In larger buildings, voice alarms may issue clear evacuation instructions. Behind the scenes, control modules activate safety protocols. Elevators return to safe floors, HVAC systems shut down to slow smoke spread, and fire doors close to contain the danger. Often, the control panel also alerts a remote monitoring center or the local fire department, summoning help before anyone picks up a phone. What sets modern fire alarm systems apart is their integration with intelligent building infrastructure. 
Advanced systems can analyze data trends, detect pre-fire conditions, and distinguish between real emergencies and benign disturbances like dust or steam. Aspirating smoke detectors exemplify this sophistication. These devices constantly draw air into a sensing chamber through a network of pipes, analyzing it for microscopic particles. Often used in data centers and clean rooms, they can detect fires in their earliest incipient phase, before smoke is visible to the eye. It's not just about sensing danger anymore, it's about foreseeing it. Wireless technology has also begun reshaping the landscape. Traditional fire alarm systems require extensive cabling, a costly and inflexible approach for older structures or temporary installations. Wireless systems use encrypted radio signals to communicate between sensors and control panels, offering flexibility without compromising safety. These systems undergo rigorous testing to ensure they meet the same performance standards as their wired counterparts. Their growing adoption signals a shift toward greater adaptability in the fire safety world. Still, no system is complete without human oversight. Fire alarm systems are required to be regularly inspected, tested, and maintained according to national and local codes, such as those established by the National Fire Protection Association, NFPA. Maintenance ensures that detectors remain sensitive, batteries stay charged, and all components function as intended. It also helps verify that the software inside the control panel stays updated and responsive to changing building conditions. Like any good Sentinel, a fire alarm system must not only be ready, but proven ready at any moment. In the final measure, a fire alarm system is far more than a mere collection of parts. It is a choreography of precision, a quiet, invisible force standing between chaos and order. Its sensors don't sleep. Its circuits don't blink. It is built on the belief that time is the most valuable currency in a fire and that the swiftest response begins not with panic, but with knowledge. By knowing how to detect the first whisper of smoke, the first breath of heat, or the faintest shimmer of particle, these systems fulfill a singular purpose, to protect life, property, and peace of mind. And in that moment when they sound the alarm, they do not just ring a bell. They speak with the authority of every engineer, every technician, and every life that demands to be kept safe. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.